Well guys, guess what today's video is? Metallic. What the hell did I use this for? This is an update video. Hey guys, what is going on? I'm Mike Barker. Thank you so much for tuning in once again. And listen, today is all about updates. I've got a bunch of stories to tell you. I visited the bike shed in London. I went to Normandy, France. I've got new parts for the CB750K. I've got refreshed parts for the A86 and just a pile of things that are coming up. It's gonna be busy. Something that's gotta happen first though is I gotta swap my summer tires onto my Honda Civic. Yeah, so like I said, uh, the last couple weeks, my wife and I, we were on holiday over in the UK and parts of France. It was awesome. We made it into London one day, saw all the sights, managed to get to the bike shed, which was everything that I thought it would be. They had barbershop, they had a restaurant, they had all the gear, all the kit you could imagine. They had one of Death Machines of London's bikes on display. It was super. We also went across over to Normandy in France. So we went to Omaha Beach, Juneau Beach, Canadian. Um, but also we went to Pegasus Bridge, which if you know anything about World War II and D-Day in specific, that whole operation really hinged on the success at Pegasus Bridge. They had an incredible, incredible display there. We had a great time there, visited with a number of friends while we were over in that part of the world. And yeah, I, I can't wait to go back and I will go back. So what a lot of you are probably wondering about though is, what's the deal with the CB750K project? Where does that stand right now? I've recorded a bunch of stuff and it's gonna make it into video format very, very soon. I've calmed down the hater four into one pipe that I have that was obnoxiously loud. I've got the signal lights wired up now and I've even got, uh, I, I've even got a, a few new parts. A new speedometer and tachometer. I've got a stoplight and again, sticking with the theme of the motorcycle, for those of you following along. Everything's been low buck. Everything's been sourced from Amazon for very cheap. We'll wait and see if the cheapness pays off though, in the long term. You know, this car has 300,000 kilometers on it and it still works like a top. Gravel driveways are no good for jacking cars up on. But it's too nice of a day not to work outside. Also, I kind of like your opinion on my license plate situation. Right now, there's no license plate on the bike. I shortened up that rear fender, it looks beautiful. But I'm wondering, should I do the vertical side mount thing off the axle on the bike? Like, what do you think? I'm, I'm thinking about putting the stoplight down there as well. I don't know how legal that is here in Nova Scotia. Let me know what you think. Comment down below. Stylistically, is it nice? Eh, Safety-wise, is it a terrible idea? So what else is going on? Oh yeah, I got my A86 header back from Denver over at Perfect Powder Coating. The thing looks like brand new again. It's fantastic, super pumped about that.
We've got a whole whack of films planned too. My brother's got this sweet AW11 MR2 that he's put an MR2 Turbo 3S GTE engine in the back of, which what a piece of gear that thing is like. I, I, I mean, I look like a hack anyway, but my brother makes me look like a caveman rubbing two sticks together, trying to get fuel injection to work. Seriously, caveman, sticks. I've also got a plan to revisit Jay's CB550K Cafe Racer project. The thing is done now, it's been done for a while. I know I totally screwed up with capturing the rest of that build, but things just kind of got busy and out of control. But man, that thing is rad. Full video coming on that featuring Jay, why he built the bike, his inspiration for the build, and everything that went into it. And yeah, as far as projects go, you're also probably gonna see a couple of uh, DIY RAV4 things pop up just because people seem to find them really useful. I've got to perform the maintenance anyway, so I might as well share it with folks. Uh, don't worry, the main focus of the channel will still be fun with motorcycles and cars and things like that. If you get a notification, provided you have hit the bell for the notifications uh, about a RAV4 video, I'm going to try to make it as entertaining as possible. However, uh, if you want to skip it, I'm not going to be offended. So that's kind of what's on the docket for the next little while as far as video goes and what you can expect from this channel. If you have any suggestions as to what you'd like to see, and oh, hold on, we've got another viewer ride to talk about. Ron sent me these pictures of his 1973 CV500F project. He's trying for a Scrambler Brat Cafe look, and I really dig the last picture of him turning wrenches on the bike. Great to see that stuff. So yeah, man, thanks so much for sending that in. I really, really dig checking out what other people are working out, working out on. So if you're tuning into the channel for the first time, find the link to my email. I think it's in the description up above. If it's not, send me a message through this or check out my Instagram feed. Send me a DM through that. Tell me about your project. Send me some pictures. Tell me the backstory behind it. And I'm going to be sure to feature as many of them on this channel as I possibly can because I think that is incredibly important. In the next video, we're going to be talking about the modifications that I did to tame, tame this wild four into one Mac header that I've got on the bike now. And guys, thank you so much for tuning in again. Listen, do me a solid, smash that like button if you liked what you saw here today, or even better yet, share this video with somebody who you think is into old school, cool machinery like this, like the Corolla 886, and just likes hanging out in the garage and having a good time. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much for tuning in again, guys. I will see you in the next video.